in today's session i'm going to show you how to create a separate remittance advice that we generate from oracle and send to suppliers so this is basically a, a report that we uh, send to the suppliers to confirm the payments that we have made in the system there are uh, seeded formats which are available for this and we can even customize uh, the formats so for this there are a couple of setups which i'm going to show you now the first setup is at the disbursement system options level so let me go to payments and within payments i have the manage disbursement system options so when i click on this this is the first setup where i need to specify what is the uh, separate remittance advice from email and then i have to provide a subject so when i will be sending uh, a mail to the supplier so then this is the subject that would appear in the mail and this is the from email that would appear to the supplier mails now once this setup is done and and obviously this setup can be done at the business unit level also like if i have to uh, use a specific uh, a, a different subject or a different from email for specific business unit then i can do here i can i can override this at the business unit level so once that is done the next setup is at the payment process profile level so let me query the payment process profile that uh, we are going to use so in this setup uh, i will have to go to reporting tab and here we need to specify what format uh, we are going to use this is a seeded format but if we have custom formats available in the application we can use those this checkbox has to be enabled if we want to submit this uh, separate remittance advice report the moment the payments are confirmed so if this is enabled that means when the payments are confirmed automatically the remittance advice would be generated allow multiple copies for a payment file this is used if i need to send the uh, remittance advice if i need to regenerate the remittance advice and send it again to the suppliers later and here uh, currently i'm selecting condition as all payments so that means the remittance advice will be always generated and sent and delivery method is email so here i have different options here like i can even use email with pdf as attachment or email with csv as attachment so currently i'm selecting email here as the delivery method so once these two uh, setups are done the only other uh, setup that we need to do is to we need to provide the email id at the supplier master level so for that we need to go to the supplier query that supplier and uh, we need to provide the email id so for now for testing purpose i will be providing a dummy mail id which will be considered as the supplier mail and the remittance advice will be sent to that particular mail so let me query the supplier here this particular uh, field is available at the supplier site level so i will directly go to the supplier site and uh, update that particular field so for this particular site i will be going to payments and under payments i have payment attributes and under payment attributes i have separate remittance advice delivery so here i am going to enter my email id so this is basically going to be the supplier email id and the delivery method will be email so once i have entered all these details what i'll have to do for testing purpose i will be creating one invoice and once that invoice has been created we will submit a payment for that and confirm that the supplier is getting the mail so let me quickly go and create an invoice here so let me select the supplier supplier site is defaulted let me enter the invoice number amount let's say 200 usd and then let me create an invoice line for this let me select 
any random distribution combination for now and then I can uh, validate this invoice invoice is validated and I will quickly process a payment for this invoice so remittance advice will be generated either if we pay it in full or if we create a quick payment or even if we pay this invoice through a payment batch I am selecting this payment process profile where I have updated the remittance advice details and then I click on submit. So now I will get a confirmation that the payment has been processed. So this is a confirmation that the payment has been processed. And now I will go and check in my mailbox. I should be getting that mail anytime. Yeah. So this mailbox, this mail I have got from the from the system, and the supplier will be getting a similar mail. And the format of this mail may vary depending on what is the format that I have selected for the separate remittance advice report. So that's it. These are the setups, and hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.